Look, it's understandably difficult to get behind a team that has been 7-10 and the last two seasons. The Atlanta Falcons have admittedly underwhelmed the last few years in year one and year two under Arthur Smith and Terry Fontenot. But believe it or not, this 2023 season that's in front of us has been circled on the calendar for quite some time. Just ask the guy that hired Smith and Fontenot. You know, this is the third year of a three-year plan, and I think we're moving in the right direction. Uh, this year, I expect our team to be... Um, even more competitive, if you will, uh, with the emphasis on the defensive side of the ball during free agency. It's not just the owner. Players like Frank Darby have picked up on the progression, too. The competition, the competition is it's more people that is in here like grounded for something different. I just thought like we going to shock everybody that been doubting us for these last two years. The 2023 version of training camp has put less emphasis on thinking and more on something that pushes the Dirty Birds forward. A place where Arthur Smith has told his players could very realistically be in their future. You know, the guys who have been here, you know, we love it. Love Coach Smith, love Terry, love this program and um, the culture and identity that we have. I think guys know we have an identity and I think guys uh, take a lot of pride in it. The energy is up. Everything is just different. My first year, he was just teaching me logistics. And then my second year, he was just telling me how to development. And then that third year he walked in, he was just like, we going to Vegas. Let's try to get to Vegas. I'm just like, we ready. Now for those of you at home that wasn't quite sure of what Frank Darby meant about Coach Smith taking them to Vegas, don't worry. It's not for the casinos. It's where the Super Bowl is going to be this season. Who's to say that year three under this regime won't be the Falcons' lucky number. At training camp in Flowery Branch, Miles Garrett, Fox 5 Sports.